Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, and yeah, my voice is completely cracked, so I do apologise for that. But anyway, I'm going to bring you my preview of the Manchester United vs West Ham United game. Now, there's a lot of key injuries, particularly for Manchester United, but obviously West Ham are without Paye, and also Diafra Sacco's picked up a three-month injury, so they're going to be very key for West Ham. Man United, on the other hand, only have 16 first team players available for selection. So that means that we're going to have to delve into our youth, which we would have done anyway. But Rooney is out, which could be a benefit. But the only thing I see being a little bit of a problem with this is Ander Herrera is also injured. And he would be my number one favourite to replace Rooney in the team. Saying that, we do have a lot of other options. Lingard is now back. So I believe he will... Uh, replace Rooney, not necessarily go up front. I think Memphis, Martial might go up front. It depends what formation we play. Will we play 3-5-2? Will we play 4-2-2-2? Will we play 4-2-3-1? I don't know. I really can't decide in this one. Personally, I would like to see a 4-4-2, but I think we might stick with a 3-5-2 with a back three of Smalling, Jones and McNair. But we'll have to see. I think Jones is back, or is he out? If he's not, then it'll be Blind. I think Jones actually might be out, so yeah, it'll be Blind in centre-back. And then probably Young and Damian on the wings, with obviously Schweinsteiger, Schneidlin, uh, maybe Carrick. Is Carrick injured? Honestly, I'm, I'm, I don't think he is, but I think the Schmidt field should uh, remain anyway. And then Lingard, Memphis, Martial. Uh, I suppose... We could change the formation. Like new Van Hal, we really don't know what to expect. Apart from that, it's probably going to be a dull game. I really hope I'm wrong. This should be a game. No disrespect to West Ham. They started this season brilliantly. They are a great team. But Paye is very key for them, as well as Diafra Sacco. He's caused us problems before in the past with his pace. We really can't handle pacey players very well. And... Uh, yeah, this should be a mauling. It should. It, it's in Old Trafford, all right. It should, with the players we've got, be a mauling. But the reality is, I, I want it to be like 3-4-0, but it's probably going to be a boring 1-0. Would I be too bothered? Not really, as long as we get the three points. I mean, that's what matters. It's points over performance, in my opinion. I mean, yes, of course I want this attacking football to be back. I'm sick of uh, watching Liverpool batter teams 4-1, 6-1, score buckets of goals, and then there's us scoring six in the entire of November. It's just not good enough for the level of quality we do possess in this squad. In January, we're obviously going to go after an attacker of some variation, maybe even a winger and a striker. At least one of them, surely, it has to be addressed, it has to be a priority. We're getting linked to youngsters, established stars. Obviously, we're not going to get the huge players in January. We looked out a bit with Juan Mata when we got him in January for the fact that he wasn't getting played very much by Chelsea and he wanted out. That's not going to be the case this time. Well, I think the best we could probably hope for, and he's a fantastic player, but there's rumours of Bayern Munich and Chelsea also wanting him, is Sadio Mane. But it will be very hard prizing him away from Southampton. He has been their best player this season, and Coleman knows it, and he knows that they're going to face a battle to keep him, but they probably will. But I think he, in terms of quality, he would be the, be uh, the best player we could possibly get out of this January window. In summer, obviously, we can get bigger players and we'll see what happens in there. But for this game against West Ham, I'm thoroughly expecting us to go out and win. I'm going to say 1-0 just because of our performances. I don't know what it is. Well, I do. We're just not creative enough. And I think a lot of the blame has to go to Louis van Gaal. I am a supporter of Louis van Gaal, but you can tell it's, it, it is the players, but it's also him telling the players what to do. I mean, you can tell he told Martial and Rooney to separate and, you know, it, I'm not really, I don't know why, like, there was a lack of communication that was so far apart being the two strikers and it just didn't work. You can tell the midfielders are scared for whatever reason, maybe they don't want to get dropped in the game. They aren't making these, um, you know, adventurous passes. I mean, the best performances we've had were against Everton, where we were adventurous, against Club Bruges. Yes, it's only Club Bruges. But still, where we were adventurous, the Schweinsteiger pass through to Herrera, we rarely see that anymore from this United team. I want to see us take risks, not take the easy option. And when we're going down the wing, what is the point in going down the wing, cutting back, passing it, going to the other wing and just playing along the edge of the box without anyone taking a risk, a shot, a forward pass? It's ridiculous. It needs to change. And these are the three perfect fixtures to do it. We've got West Ham, Bournemouth and Norwich next. We really need to 
The other two teams are promoted and West Ham have been hit with their best player being injured and now Dia Frosacco, one of their most influential players when he plays us, being hit with injury. So we have to go out and dominate. I'm still going to say 1-0, but I'm hoping, hoping it's a 3-4-5-0, but maybe that's being way too optimistic. Obviously, I'm being a little dis disrespectful to West Ham, but I'm just going off the fact that Paye and Dia Frosacco are injured. Of course, if they said Tim Met... Like they're going to do, they're going to sit 10 men behind the ball, so they could come out with a draw at Old Trafford. Many teams have done that, it's no disrespect, it's just a tactic that is used against Manchester United because we can't find a way around it, which is fair enough. But yeah, of course they could beat us, but I'm going to say 1-0, hopefully it's a lot more, but let me know what you think in the comments, and yeah, 